Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, December 4th, 2010. This week, holiday project number two, making holiday cards from templates. The holiday season is picking up steam, and this week we're continuing our holiday project series with a tip for designing your holiday cards in just minutes. Using a template as a base for your card will save you some time and will help jumpstart your creativity. Begin by deciding what size you'd like to make your cards. Using standard sizes is a great idea because custom print sizes and envelopes will add to the cost and hassle of finishing your greeting cards this year. Select an envelope shape that you'd like, whether it's long and narrow or it's square, and then create the card a bit smaller by opening a template in Photoshop or Elements. Make a copy of the template so that you don't accidentally overwrite the original. In Photoshop, choose Image Duplicate. In Photoshop Elements, choose File Duplicate. Give the copy a new name and click OK. Next, cut out the part of the template that you'd like to use on your card. Get the Crop tool and make your choices in the options bar across the top of the screen. For a 5 by 7 inch card, for example, you'll type in a width of 7 inches, a height of 5 inches, and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. And then click and drag out a box on your template to encompass the part of the template that you'd like to use on your card. Click the check mark to confirm the crop. Now you can begin covering the placeholders with photos and digital paper. I'm going to get the Move tool and use the Restore Down button here so that I can see both of my documents at the same time. I'll click on the first picture holder and then drag the picture onto the layout. You can digitally glue the papers and photos to the placeholders by holding the Alt key or on the Mac system the Option key while positioning your cursor between the two layers. When your cursor changes to a double circle arrow, click to create a clipping mask. Your paper or your digital photo will take the shape of the placeholder. Then you can come to the corner and resize if you like and then reposition and click the check mark to confirm. When you're finished adding papers and photos, Save a copy of the project as a JPEG if you're going to send it away to a printer. Choose File Save As and then for the file format you'll choose JPEG and click Save. I generally choose a quality of about 10 and click OK. If you're going to be printing your cards at home, you can print from right here in Photoshop by selecting File Print and then using the on-screen instructions to print out your cards. 